So question number three, again, a very important question. If tan a plus b equals to root three, tan a minus b equals to root uh, one upon root three. After this, this information is actually of no use right now. It will make sense once we are done with the question or it will make sense in grade 11 if you want to take math. So this is just talking about that what should be the range of the answer. Okay, so we will talk about this thing later on. Now, the, the, this is a special type of question where we are asking you that tan a plus b equals to root 3. So we have to go back to the table and check when is tan theta root 3. Now, let us go back. We'll look at the tan table. Now, where is root 3 in this? Over here. So, at 60 degree, tan is root 3. Yes or no? Is this thing clear? Yes. So, question was, tan A plus B equals to root 3. So, can I say as and 60 degree is root 3. So I will just replace root 3 by 1060. Tan A plus B equals to 1060 degree. Is that thing clear? As ratios are same, both sides. I'm getting tan theta. So I can say that ratios are same. Therefore, angles must be equal. The word must be is important. So when we are saying these two sides are equal, this side is equal to this side, it is only because ratios are same and angles also equal. So so therefore, A plus B equals to 60 degree. So this is my first equation. Any doubt in the first equation? No. Now, let me just go back to the question again. Now the question is saying A minus B equals to 1 upon root 3. Can you see that? Then A minus B equals to 1 upon root 3. Now, again, we have to go back to the table and identify where is 10 line. And in that, one. where is 1 upon root 3? Where is 1 upon root 3? At 30 degree. So, I will be writing over here. 10 A minus B equals to 1 upon root 3. As... And 30 degree equals to 1 upon root 3. Therefore, tan A minus B equals to tan 30 degree. I will write the same statement. So I'm just taking it as it is. As ratios are same, angle must be equal. Therefore, A minus B equals to 30 degree. So this is my second equation. Any doubt as of now? Now I will be using elimination method or substitution method, whatever we have learned in linear equation chapter and solve this thing. So these two are same and opposite sign, I'll just cancel this thing. So 2a equals to 90. A equals to 45 degree. Okay. Substituting in one first equation or second equation, I can put in any equation. So 45 degree plus B equals to 60 degree. I'm putting in this equation. So B equals to 
60 minus 45. So B equals to 15 degree. Is that thing clear? Any doubt? No. Uh, this is the working for question number three. For your practice, you must try example number eight. It is similar in terms of sine and cos. Method is same. Okay. Example number eight. Now, can you see that? Now, let us read this thing. Question was saying A should be greater than B. A should be greater than B. Is my A greater than B or not? Yes or no? Yes. So this is just to test, check. Now, another thing was given as A plus B should be between 0 and 90. A plus B should be between 0 and 90. So I'm just checking. There is no need of this thing. 45 plus 15 is what? 60. Isn't it 60 is between 0 degree and 90 degree? Yes or no? So both the conditions are correct. Hence my answer is correct. So this these conditions you can avoid, like ignore for the time being. So very, very important question for your exam. Uh, ask your next doubt.